Question number four. Figure three shows a graph of magnetic strength against time for two nails P and Q when magnetized in a solenoid. P and Q are of the same size but are made of different materials. So we have a, a graph showing uh, the y-axis showing magnetic strength with time as they are charged using a solenoid. A solenoid is a cylindrical coil of wire acting as magnet when ca carrying electric current. Uh, so part A, identify the material that is magnetized faster. So if you look at the two graphs, uh, P is the one that is being magnetized faster. As you can see, its gradient is, uh, from here it is stiff. So the answer here is P and you get one mark. Part B, use the domain theory to explain the answer in 4A. So we can say P is made up of soft ma magnetic material uh, compared to Q. Uh, so it takes less time uh, for the magnetic dipoles to align themselves in the north-south direction until it reaches uh, magnetic saturation. Magnetic saturation is this part where it is looked like it is horizontal. So you can see it, the, the rate of change has changed. It is like it is constant. So you can put down that down and say P is P is P is a soft magnetic material. Material. as compared to Q. To Q. Uh, so, hence, less time. Uh, hence, less time. Less time is taken for For this time is taken for the magnetic dipoles for the magnetic dipoles magnetic dipoles to align themselves to align themselves To align themselves in the north south direction north south direction north side until it reaches its magnetic saturation until it uh, reaches until it reaches uh, its magnetic uh, saturation uh, saturation is a flat part meaning that it is fully magnetized so that's how you answer that question and you should be able to get three marks if you put uh, your argument in that kind of uh, format